Hello friends. Today I am going to show you the TP-Link Archer AX20. This is the new model as compared to the last one that we have reviewed is the Archer AX50 and this is the Archer AX20. The main difference between these two is that was the model that has AX3000 and this has AX1800. So basically my friends this is also a Wi-Fi 6 router as you can see here and uh, this has been uh, updated model since the last AX50 had some heating issues and all. No doubt it has a lot of bandwidth in it like that has 3000 and this has only 1800 but rest assured everything will be fine because we have got some upgraded hardware too. In here we are getting around 1.5 GHz quad core CPU whereas compared to the earlier model AX3000 we used to get dual core Intel processor. The main difference is the processor and the RAM and uh, other things are still the same. The, as you can see here this is a Wi-Fi 6 router so we have got the old OFDMA technology. We do have 1 Gbps wireless speeds six devices with wireless speeds up to 1.8 gbps that is wi-fi 6 that is showing wi-fi 6 devices with 1.8 gbps and other devices with 1, 1 gbps it has still got the beam forming it has got the new wpa3 encryptions guest network and the main difference is here my friends as you can see here the 5 gigahertz band can hold up to 1.2 gbps and 2.4 gigahertz can support up to 574 mbps which is totaling around 800 that means the ax 1800 so in other things my friends you can check the hardware has a 1.5 gigahertz quad core processor as i told you earlier it has got one wan and four gigabit lan ports one usb 2.0 and the packaging has the router power adapter rg45 cable and quick installation guide on the back of the device you can see here there are the same things of the TP-Link regular mentioned here like the USB media sharing, gigabit internet access, powerful quad core processor, booster coverage like the beam forming and all and uh, 4x capability of non-stop entertainment. This has got like the 4 stream technology that means you can stream 4 devices at the same time and the OFDMA will take care of everything. So why wait my friends? Let's open this up. Before that we will see what is its price. As you can see here it is mentioned the price is 10,999 but if you have a good deal you can get it from Amazon for only 7,000 rupees. So why wait my friends? Let's open this up. As usual, we have to tear this up. So as you can see here uh, we have removed the box and uh, now we will remove the case what we get inside here. So this has got the easy setup method as you can see it is mentioned here easy setup with your phone via Tether app. So we have to install the Tether app or else as usual we can use our computer to do it. But nowadays the new latest model doesn't need that you have to install it through the Ethernet port on your PC. So in the box as you can see here we get the quick installation guide. Here it is mentioned how to install it and everything as you can see here. And this is the router itself. Uh, this is identical to the AX3000 model and also the AX2000 
1200 or 1300 that is another model that is a 1500 or something that is AX, Archer AX10 so this is the middle model I, Archer AX20 so we will keep this aside and check what we get inside the box we get uh, the as usual Wi-Fi card here this you can keep it with you like if you want to know your Wi-Fi password you can put it inside your purse if you have changed your Wi-Fi SSD and password you can write it up and keep it with the card this is the good thing that Tiffling has give, given with us and also we get a strip here you can tear it out and you can paste it somewhere if you want to paste it this is the cannot connect to Wi-Fi 6 product wirelessly some older version of driver or software so you need to update your driver if you have a Wi-Fi 6 device but uh, it is not connecting you get uh, this is not that costly as compared to the TP-Link Deco but uh, this is a normal Ethernet cable and uh, this is a CAT5E cable as you can see here it's mentioned a CAT5E not also CAT5, CAT6 what is this TP-Link you are giving a GBPS one GBPS router and you are not giving TP-Link with this CAT6 cable inside of the box also we get the power adapter this is the Indian power adapter as you can see here and the voltage is 12 volt out 1.5 ampere that is 18 watt so let's keep all the things on front of you I'll show you so as you can see my friends this is the router we will open this up and check it out you have to remove this do remember my friends I will be making the second part of this video with the setup of this router and uh, I will tell you you have to keep all this antenna straight to take it out so as you can see here I have removed it so as you can see here this is the router if you have seen my last video then you might be knowing that design is totally same like it the design itself it is telling you that in your face it is a Wi-Fi 6 router AX so nice clearance for air pass through because of the heat exchange and everything on top also there are some vents for air transfer here are the LED lights the power for Wi-Fi 2.4 Wi-Fi 5 the internet connection LAN connectivity and USB connectivity so here not there is no Intel logo here so that means this doesn't have an Intel processor inside here and uh, on the back we get the WPS button and Wi-Fi on off reset is pushing like you need a pin to push it to reset LED switch on and off the USB 2.0 WAN has a separate port and LAN has four ports different you get the power button here and the power socket here four antennas as you can see these are high gain antennas so these are the things that we get inside the box and if you have any doubts feel free to ask in the comment section below do subscribe my channel and friends the part 2 of this video will be coming very soon where we will discuss everything about how to set it up and install it or start the router that's all my friends thank you for watching bye bye